So the Rode Wireless Go 2 is a pretty cool system that can transmit your audio wirelessly while still recording a backup on the actual device. Now I was about to purchase this system, but a company by the name of Mirfac reached out to me and said, hey, you want to try ours? And I said, okay, stay right there. You're going to want to see this. And if you haven't done so, please make sure you subscribe because in upcoming videos, we'll be taking a look at the Lens Go microphone system and I'll show you what happened when I took the Mirafac audio to a wedding. And affiliate links for the Mirafac audio system are down below in the description box. And any equipment that was used to create the video is also down in the description as well. So going back to the Rode Wireless Go 2, like I said, you can record audio and wirelessly transmit your audio to your camera at the same time. The only problem with this system is it does not use an SD card. When you record the audio, it's being recorded directly to the, to the device. Not that big of a deal until you have to then take that audio file, put it into Rhodes software on your computer because it is not an MP3 or WAV file. So you need that software to export it as an MP3 or WAV file, then you can use it. And that's where the mirror fact comes in because this does use an SD card and you can do a backup recording to the SD card in a WAV file. And when you're done, you just put that card into your computer, your laptop, take it off and then go ahead and use it however you need to use it. So the WE10 Pro comes with the two transmitters and one receiver. And the receiver is a pretty simple unit. You attach it to your camera using the clip. It fits right in there into your cold shoe, slides right in. And then on the sides, you have your gain control. You have a mute button, and then you also have a low cut filter, which will help you reduce wind noise. And it, it comes with various settings for that. On the other side of the unit, you have a headphone out, and then you also have the output that will go to your camera, or they also provide you a cable that will work for your cell phone. And when it comes to the transmitter, uh, on one side you have a microphone input, so you can plug a microphone into this, and it does come with two microphones for each transmitter. And then you have your lights to let you know what's going on. There's a charge light when you're charging it. Uh, there's a line light, which lets you know that you're connected to the receiver, and a record light if you are recording and on the other side you'll actually see there's a switch for the recording stop and record and then you have your card slot for your sd card micro sd up to 32 gigabytes and then there's also the port for your usb cable to charge it now just in a second we're going to be doing a range test on the unit so you can see how it performs at longer distances and toward the end of the video, I'm going to share a little problem that I found out about this particular microphone. Could be a problem for the rest of you. Maybe not. It's not a huge thing, but definitely want to share it with you. What we're going to do is a quick range test to see how far you can walk with this and still get good audio. So let's do that right now. So I'm just going to walk across this field, which I would say is roughly, it might be about 150 feet. I'm just kind of guessing. I really don't know, to be, to be honest, but it's not close. Uh, or I should say it's not short, it's pretty long. So I'm just gonna walk all the way across. I'll keep talking so that we can hear to see whether or not this audio is still going. I'm just making sure it's clipped well to my shirt. I'm just gonna keep on walking. Right now I'm roughly about, I don't know, 40 feet away. We'll keep on walking. And right about here, we're probably about I'm walking back here, about 60 or something, 70 feet, 75 feet, I'm not sure. Going. And we're going to walk, walk, and walk. So we're just going to pause right here. Now the audio that you're hearing is just coming from my little studio mic, not the mere fact audio. I just wanted to say that what's happening here is because my back is turned, and this is a 2.4 gigahertz system, and you need clear line of sight, I think my body is blocking the frequency, so it's cutting in and out. So we'll fast forward to the point where I'm all the way at the end of the field and I'm walking back and the unit is actually facing the receiver. It's not close, 
Here I am all the way down here. Not sure if you can still hear me as I'm walking back, but I'm gonna stop right about here because this is a good distance. Because really what I bought this for is uh, for shooting weddings. I thought it'd be nice to have something that I can use to wirelessly transmit the audio and at the same time have a recording on a card because that's always nice to have. So that's why I bought these. And honestly, I'm not, I'm lying because I didn't buy this unit. This unit was sent to me by mere fact. I actually didn't pay for this. They wanted me to test it out. So this is me testing it out. I've already took it to a couple of weddings already. Um, and I did have some problems with it. Nothing too major. For the most part, it does work pretty well. But we'll get into what those problems are in a moment. So now I'm walking back. Now I'm about, I don't know, I'm back to about 50 feet away. So we'll listen back to it to see if I was getting audio that whole time and whether or not I got any cuts in the transmission. But here we are at a realistic range. When I'm shooting the ceremony, I'm probably about this far away from the bride and the groom as they're down the aisle. So this is like 30, 40 feet. This is typically where I am. So this is really the only range that I normally would need. Sometimes I would be a little further, further back if I was shooting a church ceremony and I was shooting up in a balcony. Sometimes. So there it is. So here it is. And uh, let's see what the audio sounded like. So there we go. So now let's just talk a little bit more about this unit. I'll give you some more information about it. Now, as you can see, it has a clip on it, so you can actually clip this directly to your shirt without having to use an external microphone, which some would see as a nice convenience feature. Uh, I personally prefer to use a lavalier mic, one, because it sounds better. You can kind of pick a good one if you want and get some really good audio going into your recorder. But not only that, it's smaller and less distracting. So um, especially when I'm shooting ceremonies and, and whatnot, and I, I pin this on a... Uh, a groom or an efficient, they're usually wearing some type of jacket and I can pin it on there, hide it under a boutonniere or whatever, and you don't even see the mic. But with something like this, you're going to see the mic. So that's a small compromise. But one thing I like about this is there's no lights on the front of it. So there's nothing flashing. So it's not, it's not super distracting, but it is kind of big. It comes with two of these. So I bought the unit that came with two transmitters and it comes with two microphones. Um, just so you can hear the difference in the audio, I'm going to use this microphone uh, so you can hear what it sounds like. Now, keep in mind, this is the mic that came with the unit. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Depending on what type of microphone you put into it, you might get a different type of sound. It might be better, it might be worse. But let's just plug it in. All right, so now I plugged in the mic. And I'm just going to put this in my pocket, zoom in a little bit. So now the mic is plugged in, and this is the kind of audio that you'll be getting from this microphone. So whether or not this sounds better than the actual internal mics that are in the transmitter, I mean, that's for you to decide. But OK, so a moment ago when I was recording, I had the levels at uh negative six so on the unit you can you could go from levels negative six i think all the way up to positive six if i'm not mistaken and i have it added on negative six when i just had the unit clipped to me so those mics are, are pretty sensitive and the microphone itself the little lavalier is not so you got to change it a little bit in there so i put it to positive six which to me seems a little bit too high i'm gonna take that down all right now i got it on positive three how to turn away from the sun it's starting to get like stupid bright out here okay so now the levels are at um positive three instead of negative six and i think they're probably better when you're using the microphone so just know that if you're using the microphone get your levels up a little higher or else you're gonna have problems okay and now let's get into that other problem that i mentioned earlier with this system so you have the two transmitters but when you're recording at the same time, the system does not give you the option to separate those two microphones into different tracks. So a lot of times with systems like this, 
you can have one microphone on the left channel and the other microphone on the right channel and then in post you can and when I say post I mean when you're editing you can separate those channels into um, different tracks and you can control them independently with this system right now as of the time of recording this video you do not have that option okay we made it so we're at the end of the video here please make sure you subscribe we're going to take another look at the Mirafac audio system and we'll see how it works out in the field at some weddings and also we're going to be taking a look at the lens go audio wireless system as well and we'll be taking a look at the insta 360 1r as always i'm mike turner thanks for watching and i guess i'll see you soon